Hey everyone, welcome back to my canal. Today I have an extremely fun video plan for you guys. I was like, you know what? This is a big moment for me. So I'm going to go ahead and vlog this for you guys. It may not seem like a crazy, crazy deal to you, but for me, this is a major stepping stone for me in the social media industry, which you guys know, this was not my intention at all. I really just started this as a hobby to help with my depression, my anxiety. If you guys know what I do for a living, it can be extremely, extremely mentally and sometimes physically stressful. Um, so makeup really is my escape and for it to be growing the way it is, it's just extremely exciting and oh my God. So if you guys don't know, I recently entered a competition with Lily Lashes. This was a, um, excuse me, this was a Halloween competition. So basically, um, they just wanted a Halloween look using their lashes. That was how you enter the competition, you know, and then they were gonna pick their winners. There was first place, second place, third place, and fourth place. Your girl got second place. With that, I won a $400 Sephora shopping spree, you guys. I am so excited. So I was like, why not bring my girls with me? And if you guys know, I'm not going to walk out of there with a bunch of stuff, but I am going to walk out of there with some quality items. So let's go ahead and jump in the car and let's go to Miss Sephora. Someone did their makeup here. Cause look at that shit. It's Andy. I can't tell you. What's your choice? I just secured the bag, you guys. The total came out to three hundred and ninety-three dollars. So I have seven dollars left. But I mean, I mean, what can I buy with seven dollars? Like that's nada. So we are gonna go get some dinner. We're thinking sushi, and then I will probably show you guys what I got. And we're back. All right, you guys, I went ahead and, you know, went to bed and everything and we're up the next morning and I have here my Sephora haul. It's one big old bag. Like I said, you guys, I wasn't going to be coming out of there with a ton of items because if you know, you know, Sephora prices range anywhere from $35 to $65 per makeup product. Now when you jump into skincare, it does get a little bit pricier. So I did get a little bit of both. So I did walk out of there with, let me check, let me check my receipt. So I got 10 items and I spent $393, which left me $7 on my gift card. I was like, hey, you know what, we'll leave it there in case I ever need to go back and buy something small. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into what I got. And then we're also going to be doing a quick little get ready with me with some of the new products that I did buy. So let's go ahead and see what magic we can create. So the first thing I want to go ahead and get started with is skincare. I did get my favorite, favorite. Oh my God, you guys, if you guys have not tried the Ole Henriksen line, the vitamin C serum to be exact, this line makes my skin so 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 vibrant and it really does get rid of all the dark spots on my face so I really love this so I got their holiday kit super cute and I also got the little lounge um, holiday kit as well it just comes with three lip sleeping masks I absolutely love these for the winter and these are also going to be really good stocking stuffers so I wanted to make sure that I picked up some of these Okay, before we move away from skincare, they also have these little Tatcha minis for your birthday rewards this month. I am a Sag, so I went ahead and picked up the Tatcha little, um, this is the rice cleansing cleanser, I think it is. 
Yes, this is the rice wash cleanser and it also comes with a little hydrating and dewy skin cream. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on really quickly just because I haven't done any of my skincare yet. I just woke up, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and here we are. So let's go ahead and go into this. It feels really thick and creamy as well. Um, this does not remind me at all of the water cream. The water cream is a lot thinner. Um, but this does feel really, really hydrating, which is really great for right now, like I said, during the winter time. So we're just going to put that on and massage it. And don't forget to bring it down onto your neck and chest. I like that it doesn't have like such a heavy scent to it either. That's really nice. We got a special delivery. Just what we needed right now. All right, I apologize if the sound is getting a little fuzzy right now. The heater did kick on, but it'll turn off here in a second. But next up we have is the Hourglass Foundation. This is their Hourglass um, Soft Glow Foundation. I've been hearing really, really good things about this foundation, so I wanted to give it a try. She is just super beautiful, super clean, elegant. And we're gonna go ahead and test this out. I got the shade 2.5, so let's hope that this works out for me. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on a flat foundation brush because if you don't know, this is how you get the most coverage out of your foundations. So I'm just gonna go in and do... Let's start with one pump just to see how far we can take it. I think it may be a little bit light, but once we bronze and contour, we should be able to make it work. I went ahead and grabbed just half a pump. I want to do half a face just so we can see the full coverage potential. This is why I love doing my base first. Let me just take off this video because it is it just makes it so much easier to do your makeup faster. So we're going to do that and then we're going to go in with the Real Techniques sponge and we're just going to pounce in the remainder of the product. Okay, so this is one even coat of a soft glow foundation on this side and this is my bare face right here. So you can see that I did take away a lot of the redness on the skin but you can still kind of see my freckles peeking through which I don't mind at all. And for a day like today, which is not, we're not doing anything super crazy, I think I'm just going to leave it at this. And then maybe another day we can try out building up the foundation for a full glam. Oh, I should probably do the other half of my face, so <laughs> give me one second. Alright, so I'm definitely thinking I may have to go back and pick up a little bit darker foundation. It's not too crazy, but like I said, we're going to try to make this work, and if I can't, then the beauty about makeup is that you can return it. Obviously, you don't want half the bottle missing because girl, and make sure you take your receipt with you. Now that we have our base on, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the next product. This is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. So it's gonna be my contour stick. I got this in the shade Amber just because it was a very cool tone, almost grayish color, which is gonna be really, really optimal to give you that super cut cheekbone look, kind of like lose 10 pounds in your face look. You wanna go for a cool tone gray. So this is what she looks like. And we're just gonna apply this right above where our natural cheekbone is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out just so I can see the difference. So I'm gonna go in with this It Cosmetics. This is the Unstoppable Powder Brush, but I really love the fluffiness of this to blend out my cream products. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with little circles and blend up. What? Ah! That is just so gorgeous. You can definitely see the difference on this side of the face than over here. So let's go ahead and apply on our other side as well as right here on the chin and right on the temple. Okay, 
that gives such a beautiful dimension on the cheeks. I think I want to go in with just a little bit more and make it a little bit more contoured. Just right here on this little area, I'm going to put a little bit right here just to kind of give the illusion that my cheekbone kind of starts going downwards right there, which looks so great. And I'm just going to focus blending that product in that area. Sculpted. We are sculpted, girl. Moving right along to our next product, I picked up some of the Rare Beauty Dewy Blushes. And these are their liquid blushes, so I'm super excited. I haven't tried these out yet. I have tried the Rare Beauty Foundation, and that one is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the two shades that I got. I got the shade Happy, um, which is like more of a bubblegum pink. And then I got the shade love which is going to be more of a dark mauvey super fall vibe so i'm probably going to end up wearing that one today but i did want to show you guys both colors you know i am the worst at opening packaging so before i destroy this let me grab my handy dandy scissors and let's cut this so here are the two shades this one right here is going to be love and this one right here is happy like i said super super bubblegum pink. I'm going to go in with the shade Love and we're just going to go ahead and pop that on to the high points of our cheek. Oh my goodness. This applicator is everything. Look at that. It's kind of like a super doe foot applicator but it grabs enough product. So let's go ahead and pop that right here and I don't want to go too heavy because I can already tell that these are pigmented girl so we're gonna go ahead and just start off with a poquitito y se ocupamos más so we'll go ahead and add more as we go because the last thing we want is to overpower with blush which don't get me wrong i do love a good blush look but a veces we need to we just need to tone it down so i'm going to go ahead and use that same brush that i use for my contour and holy with jesus all right we're gonna make this work we're gonna make this work okay let's let's Pray to the blending gods. Oh my goodness, okay. We can do this, we can do this. And I'm not even gonna cut, I'm not gonna do any cuts so you guys can see how I make this work. So we're just pouncing it in and blending it and blending it up towards the temple a little bit on the corner of the eye here. And I'm just gonna work it up towards the center of the nose just so we get a really good blend and get rid of as most product as we can there we go once we have that blend I'm gonna go back in with my real technique sponge it has a little bit of foundation left over on it and I'm just gonna blend that in to the skin just a little bit and the good thing is about doing it in this this step process is that we're still gonna go in with concealer so we'll be able to remove any pink that is in spots where it shouldn't be such as underneath the eyes so we can always fix our mistakes wow i actually really love how fresh my skin is looking right now it doesn't look super cakey it just looks nice and glowy and dewy and just it looks like skin which is the best part okay let's go ahead and keep moving along unfortunately i did not grab a concealer i don't know what i was thinking i was meaning to pick up the kosas hydrating concealers i forgot I'm going to go back for it. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Tarte Shave Tape Concealer really quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process. Just give me one sec. So this baby right here is not a new product. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, this is one of my OGs in my makeup kit. I absolutely love this one for setting under the eyes. But I do have a couple new setting powders that I want to show you guys. Or actually test out because I've never used them myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of this Laura Mercier real quick to set underneath my eyes. Just so we don't get any creasing down there. So the two setting powders that I picked up that I've been really wanting to try is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless setting powder as well as the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. So I want to go ahead and try out my Charlotte Tilbury today. We'll go ahead and use this one on another video. Like I said, you guys can always follow me on my Instagram 
at BeccaLuna underscore where I usually test out a lot of new makeup on there on the regular. So we're going to go ahead and just pop open this bad boy and try not to ruin the packaging because if you guys know, I love to keep my packaging. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, she's just so gorgeous. This is so my vibe. Anything super bougie classic, that is totally me. And here is the inside. It does come with a cute little compact mirror on there for you. Okay, so I went ahead and picked up a JH11 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just tap it in to my product here. And as you can see, we did grab a good amount. And I'm just going to go ahead and start tapping it into the skin. I can definitely tell that it was set, but it's not giving airbrush to me. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and we're going to go ahead and try that one more time. You can definitely tell the difference between the sponge and then your fluffy brush, which as always, your fluffy brush is going to give a lot less pigment as far as pounding in the product to your skin it just really depends on your preference it just wasn't giving for me so that that right there is flawless okay we're gonna go ahead and set the other side of the face so the next product that i went ahead and picked up is this brow pencil from one size beauty from mrs patrick star and i'm gonna go ahead and um, do my normal brow routine. I'm going to go ahead and fluff them up and then we're going to go ahead and jump into the pencil and define the brow and add any sparse hairs that we may need. So we're going to shake this out. I'm so bad with packaging. Oh, there's a flap. There's a flap, Rebecca. My goodness, I cannot with myself. Okay, so this is what the pencil looks like. You can see on the top you have your brow pencil product and your spoolie on the bottom, which is extremely, extremely convenient. Alright, that is just about how I like my eyebrows. The pencil was really pigmented and super easy to work with. I didn't have to really push down to get that hair like stroke. It was very easy to just kind of flick it and it was making the little strokes on its own, which is what we love from a micro pencil. So definitely love this. 10 out of 10, Mrs. Star. The next item we picked up is from, again, Miss Selena Gomez and her Rare Beauty line. This is the Perfect Strokes Eye Essentials little holiday kit. I believe this is one of their holiday kits. If not, it might be um, in stock year-round. But it is basically her Rare Beauty mascara as well as her felt tip eyeliner. And I've only heard really good things about this eyeliner. So I want to go ahead and test it out for myself. So let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, this is what it looks like out of the packaging. You can see that the felt tip is in an extra package. So let's go ahead and open this up, you know, just making things hard over here because you all know I'm really good at opening packaging. So let's, let's see. <laughs> I can't. Okay, where's my scissors? Here they are. Okay, so we're going to cut this bad boy open because ya tu sabes. But, um, oh. This is an odd shape, but I'm digging it. This is what the eyeliner looks like. Kind of almost giving crayon vibes, like those twistable crayon vibes. So let's go ahead and see how this opens. Oh, girl. I'm having trouble with the super fine point getting any product. So it's making it really hard to wing this out. All right, I got the other eye as even as possible. It is kind of hard to work with that felt tip, especially when it kind of skids a little bit. When you're creating that first line, you need it to be a soft, smooth line. And once it starts skipping, it's game over. So next we're gonna jump into the Rare Beauty Mascara. And I love how jumbo this is. This is like a super jumbo mascara, as you can see. It's like almost as big as my hand here but it is very very 
Thickalicious. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. Here is what that wand looks like if you're curious. And we're just going to start. So I decided to go ahead and skip a lash and just do two coats of mascara and I went ahead and curled my lashes as well. It did give it quite a bit of lift but I really want to test this out and see if it creates any flakiness throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as mascara and do kind of a wear test and I can always update you guys later on Instagram if you guys are curious. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into lips. So I did not get any lip products, but I do have a new lip liner that I've been wanting to try. And this is from the brand Ciate, Ciate London. And this is a beautiful mauve color lip liner. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Here is what she looks like. Alright, I was expecting a darker color, but I'm definitely not mad at this soft pink vibe that it's giving off. So I absolutely love that. I'm going to go ahead and pop that with a gloss. These right here are the Luna Magic Mango and Cherry Little Lip Combos. So let's go ahead and pop these on. I love how these look. These are just so cute. They're kind of giving summer, but that's okay, okay? So, oh, come on, girl. All right, so these are the two chapsticks. I'm going to go ahead and jump in with cherry. Oops. Cherry. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and pop it on. Ay, Rebecca, it is tan... No sé. I'm such an airhead. All right, so this is cherry. And I love that these give kind of a subtle little color to them. Nothing crazy. Definitely smells like cherries. Oh! Alright, my lovies. That is the finished look for today's Sephora haul. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below which products were your favorite. For me, definitely, it's going to be the Fenty Contour Stick. That blended out like butter, and I felt like that shade really, really matched my skin very well to give me that hollow effect. And this is all one, you guys. I didn't put any extra powder on top. It's just my cream products with that Charlotte Tilbury setting powder on top, and you can still see those products showing through. The color is not fading out. You don't need to go in with a separate powder and really enhance. I mean, obviously, if you're going to go for that super, super full glam then yes, you'd want to go ahead and do that to make your makeup last a bit longer, you know, if it's your birthday, because it's my birthday coming up soon. Um, but for just something super simple, soft, dewy, I absolutely love the way that my makeup turned out. I wanted to touch base again on how extremely happy and grateful I am to have one. Thank you, thank you so much, Lay Lashes, a million times. Thank you for being one of the first companies to really take me on as an ambassador. And I really appreciate everything that you guys have taught me. And it's just been super, super, super fun. And I am extremely grateful. Thank you so much for picking me as your second prize winner and giving me the opportunity to go on a quick little shopping spree during the holidays on my birthday month. What else could I have asked for? It was just so, so great and I am genuinely, genuinely just so, so thankful and grateful. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as always, thank you for spending some of your day with me and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!